Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2019 Nerapasso Rosso Vinitos from Finito, Italy. It's 13.5% alcohol by volume and I paid $14 for this at my local grocery store. This is a blend of Corvinone, Corvina, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Merlot. So for this wine, I'm kind of expecting it to be more on the dark side. And you know what? This is already a great start because the foil already defeated me. When that happens, the wine is either really good or really bad. Let's hope it's the former. Also, someone the other day asked me why I just typically pull the foil off and I don't cut around it and, and do all that. One, it's faster in general to pull the foil off. Two, um, for the most part, I don't think the foil is necessary anymore in my, you know, my humble wine opinion. And so uh, I just kind of like trashing it because... In reality, that's kind of where I feel like it should be in general. So anyway, with that being said, let's take a look at the color of the wine. Uh, from a color standpoint, I'm going to give you a medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, on the nose, dark, dark fruits. This is a very dark fruit oriented wine. So I'm getting blackberry, a uh, touch of black cherry, a very strong plum note. There's a little bit of black currant. Touch of black pepper. Uh, the alcohol is, even though it's medium alcohol, it still smells a little warm. But I would still say it probably falls in medium. It's not like the alcohol is burning my nose or anything. I'm getting a slight hint of oregano. I'm also getting a little bit of clove. I'm getting a hint of mace. There's a weak black tea note and a little bit of dark chocolate. Anyway, how does it taste? Medium plus body. Medium plus tannins. The tannins are, they're kind of like this mix between a little bit chalky and a little bit sandy. Like there's this sort of like initial tannic approach of it being a little bit more on the grittier side. And then after you kind of move it around and you swallow then it, then it becomes more of like a chalkiness. So it's kind of like a blend of kind of the tannic textures. Uh, the intensity on the palate is medium plus. And of course, I forgot to say the intensity on the nose. The intensity on the nose was medium. All of those fruit elements are there. I mean, it really is just a really nice blend of dark fruits with some supporting secondary elements that aren't too intrusive. This is actually, in terms of balance, I, I can tell you now, this, this wine's gonna score pretty high. It's, it's fairly nice on the palate. Acid and finish are both medium plus. It's a dry wine. And in terms of those fruit elements, there is no tertiary. It's all very primary driven. It's a very fresh, fruity tasting wine. Uh, there's not really those tertiary things to kind of make it more dense and ultra complex. However, with all that information thrown at you, let's take a look at the Blick. So from a balance standpoint, full point. Length, medium plus finish, 0.75. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium plus on the palate, so I'm only gonna give you 0.5. And in terms of complexity, I'm getting primary and secondary. 2019, I don't really expect any tertiary. I would like a little bit more expression of the secondary though. Like I would either some additional elements or a little bit more of a stronger concentration. After a few sips, um, that primary is still very strong, but that secondary kind of tends to get overwhelmed by the primary after a while. So I'm gonna give you half a point here for complexity. So I mean, you score pretty high here, but I'm still gonna give you good. And like I said, the majority of that is because I do want a little bit more secondary characteristics for this. Um, maybe if there had been, like I said, a little bit more of a spiciness to it or um, a little bit more concentration of those existing secondary elements, then I think that would have served you into very good. However, it's still good wine and I am gonna go enjoy it. Uh, and I'm actually shooting this video before I release another video uh, in which I cook something and uh, I pair it with wine. So if you're interested to see me possibly cut a finger off in my own kitchen, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2019 Nero Paso from Veneto, Italy? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another review or cooking review on Wine on the Dime.